this is the Keelcraft Gypsy that we reviewed uh, through two rather full-length videos. My apologies for how long they were. This video is going to be on flight setup for this airplane. So I'm going to walk you through stranding up a rubber motor for a full-size 8-ounce weight field. And we'll show some of the initial balancing and whatnot. I will note at, um, at the end of this video, you're going to see me CGing the airplane and whatnot. Maybe a couple initial test flights. Um, yeah, you're going to find out that CG is completely wrong. There is a procedure for calculating the center of gravity. Link in description. If, I, if it's not down there, ping me and I will put the link in the description uh, for a proper method to set the CG on one of these. Uh, that being said, um, you could set the CG on one of these airplanes simply uh, because this is a very reliable airplane. If you've done a decent job building it, just remove nose weight until it, until it glides in a way that you're happy with. Um, because that's ultimately what I did, and I'm happy with it. If you want to trim for a really, really fast climb, then you might have to look at adjusting that CG. But anyway, with that, enjoy flight setup for an 8-ounce weight field. All right, so I've got in the two chairs space 72 inches apart because we're going to put a rubber motor in this airplane. And I want... 24 strands of 1 8 and the way I'm going to get there is to make up a 12 strand motor and then we will braid it and bring it all together. So first of all, I'm going to need completely redneck everything. So we're halfway there. Strands. So now we'll tie that off.
anything we have to attach this to right now. This is a moral sidewinder. You can still get the, I think FAI model supply may still have these. Not certain. Not even going to hook it on. Just hook it on the outside. Now you want to be careful because the rubber motor is dry. It has not been lubricated. So you don't want to risk damaging it. That's enough to get us started. everything, Josh, just drop everything. You know. This is a piece of one quarter inch aluminum tubing flared on the ends. Get a rubber band and wrap this around here so it can't get loose. All right, got a little rubber band. All I'm gonna do is just wrap this around here. And now that's secure. The other end. goes into a crocket hook. This one is not the right size, so it's a little small. I think this one's for 16 strands. And we have a lot more. And it does in fact fit, if just barely. Now this rubber is vulnerable to hurting itself at the moment. So we're going to take the mess drop it in a bag, a bag, and we're going to take Dow Corning 33, uh, it's now, it's no longer that, it's now Molly Coat 33, Molly Coat 33 that does not want to come out of the tube. Because there's a hole in the frickin' tube. Crying out loud. Must you... Massage the pink slimy crud into the motor. Perhaps closing the bag would have been a better idea. Unless you're incompetent and leave all the air in the bag.
All right. We have a rubber motor. We have an airplane. We now to prevent loss of the front of the rubber motor, we will stick it on the prop shaft and thread the beast down into the plane. You're not using a stuffer stick, Josh. Yeah, I don't use stuffer sticks. Even though I, in fact, do actually own one. So what I'm doing is sighting down through the windshield. Finding this guy. the other side. Piece of 3 16th tubing, which is our rear peg. And the rubber motor is installed. Now we'll crank in a few hand winds tension it. That feels pretty good. I think you have a decent amount of power. And check the CG. She's currently balancing on the rear spar, which is too far back. If we want to be up right about, let's see here, right about here. So I'm gonna add some lead to the nose and then we'll come back. Okay, so I put lead in the nose and now we balance right about there, which is where the plans show to balance it. So we'll take it outside and we'll give it a test glide. But the bottom line is, this is the Killcraft Gypsy. Um, the thermalizer is not on it yet. We're going to do a separate video on that topic because we're going to. Um, but anyway, you, the plane's ready for a few test glides if you're reckless like me because look, some of these things Test glide means potential that it, you could lose it in a thermal, just from shoulder height. I've heard of that happening. I haven't seen it, but I've heard of it, and I have enough experience to know it is possible. So, anyway, there you go. Um, bottom line is, for the Gypsy, thumbs way stinking up. I love this. I've wanted one of these since I was 12. Now I've got one, and uh, it's beautiful. Thank you, uh for you guys at Ripmax, thank you very much uh, for making this possible. And um, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Hi, I'm Josh Finn. This is Hope. We are J&H Aerospace. If you like this video, hit the like button. Also, how about subscribe to our channel and check out jhaerospace.com for new free flight products and all of the tooling that you'll need to build them. Thanks for watching.